Ever hook up a turntable and get an annoying humming or buzzing sound? In this video, we'll show you how to fix it. If you hear a buzzing sound that sounds like this, it's probably a ground loop. If you hear a sound like this, or it only happens at a higher volume, you may be hearing feedback. Now here's what you can do about it. First, let's start with a ground loop. One, plug the turntable directly into a wall outlet and remove any power bars or surge protectors. Two, try moving the turntable to another surface. It should not be on top of other equipment such as the speakers, amplifier, or receiver. Three, confirm that the ground cable is connected from the ground terminal on the turntable to the preamp, receiver, or powered speaker. If a ground terminal is not available, the ground cable can be connected to a screw on the chassis of an amplifier or the back of a powered speaker. Four, disconnect other devices that may be causing the loop, such as DVD or Blu-ray players. Five, remove and reseat the stylus. Six, remove and reseat the head shell, ensuring that the locking collar on the tone arm is tightened fully. Seven, clean the contacts on the head shell connector with a cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol. Eight, check the wiring from the head shell to the cartridge. If it's loose, crimp the connections with needle nose pliers. Nine, ensure that the locking collar on the tone arm is tightened fully. 10. Remove and reseat the RCA cables. Rotate them back and forth once they're inserted to ensure a good connection. 11. Test with different RCA cables. If you're using your own cables, test with the cables that came included with the turntable. Feedback is caused by the cartridge picking up external vibrations, such as those from your speakers, and amplifying them. It can be caused by over amplification. These steps will help prevent feedback. 1. If your turntable has a built-in preamp like the RT80 and RT81, make sure that you are not running the cables through another preamp such as the phono input on an AV receiver or amplifier. If you are, the preamp switch should be set to the phono position. For turntables without a preamp like the RT82 to RT85, do not connect an external preamp when you're using the phono input on an amplifier or receiver. 2. Try moving the turntable to another surface. It should not be on top of other equipment such as the speakers, amplifier, or receiver. 3. Move the speakers to another location and test with them facing different directions. They should be positioned in front of the turntable. Also, never keep the speakers on the same surface as the turntable. 4. Try accessories such as isolation platforms or pads for the speakers and turntable to reduce the vibration. If these issues persist, there may be an outside influence, such as electromagnetic interference from other electronics such as wireless routers. It may be necessary to test the turntable in another environment to rule this out. If you like videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.